Chapter 5 Three days later, Esther put on her royal robes and entered the inner court of the palace, just across from the king's hall. The king was sitting on his royal throne facing the entrance. When he saw Queen Esther standing there in the inner court, he welcomed her, holding out the gold scepter to her. So Esther approached and touched its tip. Then the king asked her, What do you want, Queen Esther? What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it is half the kingdom. And Esther replied, If it please, your majesty, let the king and Haman come today to a banquet I have prepared for the king. The king turned to his attendant and said, Tell Haman to come quickly to a banquet, as Esther has requested. So the king and Haman went to Esther's banquet. And while they were drinking wine, the king said to Esther, Now tell me what you really want. What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it is half the kingdom. Esther replied, This is my request and deepest wish. If your majesty is pleased with me and wants to grant my request, please come with Haman tomorrow to the banquet I will prepare for you. Then, tomorrow I will explain what this is all about. What a happy man Haman was as he left the banquet, but when he saw Mordecai sitting at the gate, not standing up or trembling nervously before him, he was furious. However, he restrained himself and went on home. Then he gathered together his friends and Zeresh his wife, and boasted to them about his great wealth and his many children. He bragged about the honors the king had given him and how he had been promoted over all the other officials and leaders. Then Haman added, and that's not all. Queen Esther invited only me and the king himself to the banquet she prepared for us. And she has invited me to dine with her and the king again tomorrow. Then he added, But all this is meaningless as long as I see Mordecai the Jew just sitting there at the palace gate. So Haman's wife, Zeresh, and all his friends suggested, Set up a gallows that stands seventy-five feet tall and in the morning ask the king to hang Mordecai on it. <laughs> when this is done, you can go on your merry way to the banquet with the king. This pleased Haman immensely, and he ordered the gallows set up. 